Hi, myself got me. Today in this tutorial, you will learn how to paint a beautiful Rajasthan landscape um, with uh, traditional folk uh, musicians and folk dancer. In this, you will learn how to paint their dresses, costumes, desert and blue cloudy sky. You will also learn how to add details in your painting and adding depths in your painting. The size of canvas is 24 by 16 inches. So let us start with the painting. First here uh, I am using a Persian blue mixed with linseed oil and turpentine oil. And uh, I have thinned the paint so that it can easily flow on canvas. And it can be easily removed from canvas also and can be changed later on. So for first time sketching for my reference and uh, this is usually for uh, height and width ratio and uh, location and where we, I have to place uh, all these things. So for this uh, I have uh, sketched this. Uh, for the sketching I am using a uh, uh, size 2 brush. Uh, this is synthetic mongoose hair brush. You can use any fine brush for uh, sketching uh, in which you are comfortable. Uh, I have shown here my palette for reference in which you can see that uh, I have used Persian blue mixed with uh, some linseed and turpentine oil. On top I have sketched a little bit of desert and uh, in topmost uh, area there will be sky so I have left this. Uh, here in bottom I want to sketch some musicians uh, so I am creating group of musicians and uh, just making their uh, postures so that uh, later on I can change them and uh, uh, whatever they are holding their hand and their foot postures their body postures I am sketching here and this is just uh, base uh, sketching also I am sketching a woman who is uh, dancing she uh, she is carrying uh, multiple uh, pictures and uh, dancing uh, in desert now we will learn how to paint uh, the sky and uh, this is a blue uh, deep blue sky uh, here i have used persian blue and a little bit algerian crimson and uh, titanium white and i have also used linseed oil and uh, turpentine oil on base layers uh, it's better to use both uh, when you go on to uh, upper layers then it's better to use mostly uh, linseed oil but you can mix little bit turpentine oil again on top layer also but that uh, quantity will be low for a um, base layer it's uh, better to use both and then it will easily flow on your canvas and uh, here you can see that i have mixed uh, persian blue algerian crimson and titanium white and i am spreading over it on canvas first i'm applying all the different shades of colors then after applying all these colors i will merge them first i will merge it with uh, this white bristle brush itself then i will merge it with soft brush if you see somewhere less color then you can apply more color over there and if you want to make uh, some area more darker then you can apply little bit uh, more persian blue now i am merging color uh, with a soft uh, brush for this it's better to use it uh, crisscross or uh, in circular motion but don't over merge it otherwise uh, it will again become flat so merge it lightly and uh, you can also merge it with white brush white soft brush here i am uh, painting clouds for this i have used a little bit uh, linseed oil, oil and uh, turpentine oil in my brush and uh, then i have taken uh, titanium white and uh, i am not mixing blue in this because my canvas is already wet so it will take some uh, blue automatically on in my uh, white color uh, so first I am making a base uh, for uh, clouds and uh, lighter clouds then I will make them more bright and I will add some highlight on it. Uh, if you have to make uh, fluffier clouds then uh, make different shades uh, on clouds like uh, uh, grey shade and then 
add some highlights uh, with uh, white color or any other color if there is sunlight is uh, reflecting through clouds or there if there is sunrise or sunset you can see my other videos also in which i have explained um, sunrise and sunset clouds different color clouds uh, especially uh, more fluffy clouds uh, so i have uh, shown rainy day clouds and uh, other type of clouds uh, in another video of uh, another tutorial uh, for sand i have used uh, burnt sienna burnt umber yellow ochre uh, titanium white chrome yellow uh, you can also use uh, lemon yellow so all these colors i have used for uh, making different shades of sand uh, distant sand will be in lighter color and uh, they will be not much prominent so i have just uh, used a little bit um, in yellow ochre and uh, burnt umber and uh, titanium white in this for uh, making different distant sand your uh, sky color is also mixed in this one so little bit blue is also mixed so it will be uh, less uh, prominent and less bright and you can see that you can distinguish easily that it is a uh distant and this one is uh, closer than uh, this uh, your painting will look uh, more uh, nice and uh, more beautiful if you add uh, more depth in your painting like uh, if you add uh, a distant and closer look in your painting and then your painting will be more richer so try to add um, or try to paint uh, um, a wide range of area in your painting and uh, it will be more interesting also if you will uh, make a wide range so viewer has uh, uh, much options to see different things in your painting so you can see that uh, again when i have to add the next layer or next uh, more closer uh, sand then i am making it more brighter for this i have used uh, for shadow i have used uh, uh, more burnt umber burnt sienna and uh, for uh, uh, lighter part means uh, for uh, front part where sunlight is uh, reflecting i have used uh, chrome yellow on lemon yellow uh, in this combination and i mixed also titanium white so uh, you can make different shades of sand uh, uh, different shades will add depth and will add uh, uh, more light and shadow effect on your painting like uh, you can show that this uh, portion of uh, uh, desert is in front of uh, sun sign and this is in the back of sun sign so uh, from the varying colors you can make uh, your objects more closer uh, more far and uh, also in light and shadow uh, this is base layer so i am just using color uh, variations and uh, i am using white bristle brush for uh, base layer uh, it will be better to use white bristle brush for base layer and uh, as your uh, several hair brushes or a uh, mongoose hair brushes are costly and also delicate than white bristle brushes so when you are applying on base layer your canvas is hard so it uh, it will it can damage your bristles easily i am also applying it on a sketch uh, later on i will modify a little bit uh, and make it more prominent or if you feel that uh, their height uh, and their width ratio is not matching then you can change it little bit also this is base layer for musicians uh, means uh, we will add more layers after that also in first layer we will add uh, their shapes and their costumes and their face uh, base colors so for the costume like you can see that i have used uh, red turban so i mixed a uh, uh, little bit oil in uh, red uh, color i have used here red burnt sienna burnt umber yellow ochre for uh, skin tone for skin tone i have used titanium white also and uh, ivory black i have used uh, and uh, burnt umber i have used for hair
So mainly their costumes are in white color so i have used different shades of white uh, mixed with uh, persian blue and uh, ivory black for the skin tone base layer i have usually used burnt sienna burnt umber yellow ochre and uh, titanium white and i am just giving uh, their shapes uh, mostly and light and shadow on their uh, skin tones and that how much uh, darker and how much light and where there will be light on their skin tone so this is the first layer later on i will add some more highlights to make uh, more prominent and make uh, more bright at some places to show sunlight effect but uh, since uh, musicians are distant so uh, there will be not much detail on their faces but yeah still there will be some shape on their uh, faces so that you can easily understood that uh, where they are looking what are their expressions and uh, easily you can uh, uh, distinguish that uh, which person is doing what and uh, uh, distinguish each and every person so here i am uh, painting their turbans their uh, kurtas their stoles red printed or mostly they wear uh, uh, printed stoles and bright color printed stoles this is rajasthan uh, painting in which uh, there are local musicians who are playing local musical instruments and uh, presenting some folk songs also in, in this painting you will see that uh, a folk dancer is dancing with many pictures and all so this is a uh, rajasthani cultural painting in which uh, i am showing rajasthan culture of uh, music and dance and their local musical instruments so now you can see that uh, uh, their base of uh, costume and uh, body postures is a uh, little bit visible and later on i will add more layers to make it more highlighted one and more prominent one uh, here you can see my palette the where i am changing colors and making a uh, mixture of different colors like uh, for uh, instrument i am using uh, burnt sienna and uh, titanium white and uh, at some places i am using red in rajasthan actually uh, they use very bright colors uh it is a desert and uh, usually they use bright colors for in their costume in their instruments in their lehengas and other things and their mainly costumes they use very bright colors mostly in turbans and stoles main use uh, usually white kurtas but uh, uh their stoles and turbans are very, very bright colors so i am making these all things for small details uh, it's better to use uh, smaller brushes miniature brushes and uh, round brushes of size 0 1 and uh, liner brushes at some places also like uh, if you have to add detail or maybe if you have to make outline then you can use uh, these brushes like you have you have to make uh, eyes and nose and small, adding some small fine details then you can use these brushes currently i am not uh, making much more light and shadow but uh, later on i will add some folds wrinkles on their costumes and i will add a uh, light and shadow effect on their costumes here i am uh, blocking her uh, shape and uh, sizes defining her shapes like uh, what will be the posture of her hand and uh, her uh, stool dupatta and when she is dancing i want to make uh, a tribal lehenga for uh, um this uh, dancer in rajasthan usually their uh, tribal lehengas are very uh, of much of uh, bright colors here the base layer of uh, lehenga is uh, black but uh, there will be much more colors which will be added in this uh, later on currently i am using black uh, color uh, mixed with a little bit linseed oil you can uh, define uh, dark and lighter shades to show depth uh, and uh, um making it front and uh, uh, back like uh, when you have to define uh, uh, back then you uh, have to uh, give it more darker color then it will automatically turn that uh, 
it is uh, back portion of the girl and then when we are uh, coming to front then uh, we have to make some embossed and light color textures which will uh, give its effect like uh, it is in front and uh, it is uh, coming in sunlight uh, here you can see that if I have to um, paint her uh, dupatta stole then I have uh, used thin layer of uh, black because uh, when uh, you use thin layer of black then it will be semi transparent and I have to show that it is semi transparent and uh, um, some background things can be visible from stole and dupatta so uh, i am making some uh, folds in dupatta to buy more uh, lines but usually it will be a uh, thin layer of uh, black color and uh, so that uh, it should be semi transparent later on after uh, creating um, shapes of her dupatta i will decorate her the um, stroll and dupatta for the face i am using um, burnt sienna um, burnt umber and uh, skin tone color also i am using and uh, then lemon yellow and titanium white uh, you can define light and darker shades for it like uh, lighter shade uh, that this portion is in sunlight so this will be lighter shade and uh, maximum tone you can define and uh, whichever is coming uh, under shadow you can define that color also so contrast uh, and light and shadow uh, basically defines your f mm, uh, f face cuttings and all like you can see that uh, it is already your her face is defined in this whether i have not uh, completed all the uh, details like uh, eyes nose and all but you can see that uh, it is now visible that how her face will look uh, here uh, you can see that I am creating uh, some jewelries on her waist. Uh, this is called Kamardhani and uh, in Rajasthan usually of, on lehenga they uh, wear such type of jewelries which is of made of silver and uh, first for making silver I am making base layer with grey color uh, which is a uh, titanium white mixed with a little bit blue and black and uh, make base layer with uh, this grey color then I will add uh, more titanium white and highlight on uh, this uh, base layer to show sign of silver color I'm not using any silver color for it I'm just uh, using grey color um, and titanium white you can watch complete video of this tutorial on Udemy link is given in description of this video and in my pinned comment we will see how to um, make pictures and uh, add more decorations and make fine pictures add light and shadow on um, pictures uh, because there is sunlight reflection on each and everything so uh, if you give light and shadow effect then it will make uh, your uh, painting more embossed and add depth in it
if you just add the white color then uh, it won't shine it will look flat so to make it shiny and uh, reflecting light we have to add both shadow color and then on top and on some places we have to add more highlighted white color I'm also making some folds on her blouse on her other cloth uh, so for that I'm using uh, lighter shades of uh, black mixed with uh, titanium white on her costume also there are more uh, shine and uh, there is more glitters on her costume so I'm making those gl uh, glitters uh, for more brighter and more uh, prominent areas where sunlight is uh, reflecting more uh, I am using pure titanium white and some shadow part uh, for shadows area or for back area I am using a uh, little bit uh, blue or um, black make in titanium white or uh, use lighter shades uh, use a dull shade of white here I am using the round brush of size uh, 0 and uh, you can use uh, uh, any fine brushes synthetic brushes or natural hair brushes uh, for this I am making a baby design uh, with a brush and it make it gives it a baby look so it defines um, folds on it and uh, on side part I will give shadow and the center part will be embossed one so it will be lighter one so it gives an embossed effect and show like it is there is fold on her lehenga now you can make uh, some more designs on her lehenga by adding some shiny ribbons and some textures and designs and beautiful decorations according to Rajasthan you can uh, add according to your choice and uh, make a beautiful decorative painting If you like this video, please click on like and subscribe my channel for more videos and updates. Also, you can visit the link given in description and in my comment to watch complete video of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.